Thank you. <laughs> Hello, beautiful guys and girls. We are here with another video. I'm so excited for today's video because we are gonna talk about uh, signs that uh, you are moving into the fifth dimension. Look at the sky, by the way. Oh my god, it's, it's everywhere. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, so I'm so excited for so excited for today's video, guys. I'm gonna share everything that comes through to my mind and we're gonna cycle at the same time. So enjoy and if you are experiencing any of these signs, get ready because you are moving uh, to heaven on earth because fifth dimension state of consciousness is literally heaven on earth. Like one percent of the planet is already there. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna put you here. Oops. Wait. I'm gonna put you here. <laughs> and we go for cycling. I'm gonna say. Some signs that are gonna be. Some of the best experiences. Some of the most full experiences of your life, guys. So. Let's do this. So, we don't see the world as it is, we see it as we are. And um, in order to see the world as it is, we have to transcend the duality of the mind. So, there is a difference when you perceive life through the fifth dimension, there is a difference between uh, perceiving life uh, through uh, our five senses. For example, a sign that you're experiencing the shift, a sign that you're experiencing the shift is that uh, you are aware of the energy. You are aware of uh, what people call, what scientists call the quantum field. Okay, you are the well aware of uh, another dimension, and uh, it, it's like a new world opens up to you. But uh, it's not a mind thing; it's uh, a vibration. It's a vibration thing. It's uh, you know. Your beingness, it's the realm of beingness, as Edgar Tolle says, you know, it is that realm. And uh, uh, what comes with that is uh, inner peace, okay. This uh, shift into the fifth dimension is the, the end of suffering and uh, if you are experiencing uh, inner peace, huge amount of inner peace that's a huge sign that uh, you are moving into the fifth dimension state of consciousness another sign is that uh, your whole energy body is reconstructing in the beginning it might be a little bit uh, hard because uh, uh, it might be hard to notice those changes because um, you haven't experienced uh, a lot about the fifth dimension, but later on, you will become aware. You, you will become aware of those changes. So your whole, uh, actually, literally, your old self is dying in all levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. You, you, you are just, experience and a change 
in all levels okay that is far from comfortable of course for the new to come the old has to die and uh, people refer to that as the dark night of the soul which is uh, the dark night of the ego and uh, it, it is an experience that uh, is it, it, for me at least for me uh, i had a very challenging life until now but uh, the dark night of the soul at 2020 was the um, literally the 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 level goes on super hard you know and uh, if you're experiencing um, uh, that uh, stage of your soul journey it's a sign that you are moving uh, into the fifth dimension but you, you're gonna know that you, you're gonna have a knowing at least that's how it happened uh, to my journey I had a knowing so that brings us to the next sign the next sign is you, you are connected you are connecting more and more with your intuition your intuition is on point and uh, another realm opens up to you the realm of uh, no thoughts the, the, the realm of knowing <laughs> that's another sign that uh, you are shifting to the fifth dimension and of course be excited because oh my god you're gonna have a lot of mystical uh, you're gonna experience the fullness of life literally experiences that are more alive than anything that this uh, world with the five senses has offered you before so embrace the changes guys it might be challenging uncomfortable whatever they are if you are experiencing the cyst just embrace so that's the, that's the, the other sign intuition The next sign is uh, as you're experiencing the shift, you can't help but uh, always being in the present moment. Okay. And these are two signs together. We will talk about uh, both of those signs. Oh, we have a marriage here. Marriage. Ooh. A photographer. Let's capture the moment, guys. Put over her cosplay. a nice moment uh, so we were talking about uh, the present moment while while you're gonna be first of all you're gonna be a detached observer and uh, you're gonna be into the present moment okay those are two signs that are connected and uh, of course uh, they, they are saying to you hey you're shifting into the fifth dimensional state of consciousness and uh, of course that is gonna be your uh, uh, physical state i mean your normal state in the beginning you might uh, shift uh, uh, in the matrix and in the present moment okay in the beginning but later on uh, as you integrate fully into the fifth dimension state of consciousness and i'm gonna say a little uh, some tip about that uh, your present moment is gonna be your natural state so another sign and of course uh, um, th this is the biggest sign that you shifted you don't know yourself anymore I mean not uh, I mean on conceptual thinking uh, you are not the person you used to be you are literally someone else and inside your system you don't even remember the old person you know time uh, you, you experience time as infinite through your soul consciousness and even though you can't think 
who you are as a soul. It's like the, the personality, the persona of the previous person has died of lives ago. <laughs> and uh, this is a huge sign that uh, you, you have almost shifted or shifted to the fifth dimension. Another sign that, that uh, you might experience as you shift between the third and the fifth dimension is the fourth dimension. For the purposes of this video, I like to split the fourth uh, dimension in two categories, the lower fourth dimension and the higher fourth, fourth dimension. The lower is the, the plane of all thoughts and emotions of the human existence and the energies there are dense, are dense. There, there, there are a lot of fear based uh, energies and dense emotions and uh, the higher realm of uh, the fourth dimension is uh, where you can choose To take the highway of fear, the highway of love, or the the down of fear, you can choose your thoughts and your emotions, and of course you choose uh, thoughts based on love, on peace, on elevated emotions. And uh, the fourth dimension is the elevator in simple terms, and you'll experience uh, a lot of up and downs until you fully integrate the fifth dimensional energies as uh, your body is preparing to embody those energies so that brings us to, uh, to the next sign which is you're experiencing a lot of uh, changes in your system for example you are connected with every cell every cell communicates to you okay and you just know it's like it's like it's part of you it's connected and communicates with you and uh, your what you eat has changed completely what you drink has changed completely there is a completely reconstruction in your diet in uh, you you might have uh, adapted new hobbies you know you're, you're someone different now and uh, that's another sign that uh, is uh, telling you, hey, you're shifting into the fifth dimension. Get ready. Get ready. It's here and there. So, uh, the next uh, sign is that uh, time is becoming eternal. Okay, as. Uh, you connect more with your soul as we embody your soul in this human avatar. Time uh, becomes uh, illusionary, eternal, and this whole entire reality with our fifth, with our five senses feels like an illusion. It is an illusion, actually. And uh, you, you have this realization. You, you become aware of. Uh, how long we perceive this reality for so long <laughs> the bird agrees and uh, yeah oh, oh the, the one of the best signs is that you experience uh, oneness with all things with humans with nature with everything You experience the oneness with all that is and guys this is wholeness this is completion you don't need anything when you find yourself you don't need anything and then you can enjoy this beauty you can enjoy this you can enjoy this you can enjoy this Oh my god, and uh, this brings um, a feeling of love, because love connects us all. This is the real love though, not lust, not the idea of love that people have in this matrix. 
So we have to remind ourselves that uh, love, honor, peace, and joy are not emotions of the body. They are coming through the connection with your soul, through the beingness. Okay, they are not emotions of the body. Okay, this is super important to realize because most people are seeking for peace out there. When I get this, when I get that, when I get this relationship, when I complete this, when I complete this goal, when I do this, I'm gonna be peaceful. That's the ego, guys. You'll never be peaceful. You might be peaceful for a moment in time, but uh, you'll travel the whole life uh, in inner turmoil. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, Whew. crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So that's another sign that you are shifting into the fifth dimension. The next sign is that you are getting downloads through dreams. Dreams are happening in the fourth dimension and you realize that when you are in the fifth, in the fifth dimension state of consciousness. So you, you are getting dreams that are downloads, that you remember them, that you know that you, you, you are able to use in your reality with your new mind because as you ascend, as you shift into the fifth dimension, your mind is changing, literally. Uh, your mind is moving out from linear time into the multidimensional time. Of course, uh, time is an illusion, you know? But, uh, yeah, linear time is an illusion, to be honest. And, uh, as your whole mind is changing, you begin to awaken to, 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 to a much wider, more open reality. Your power as a creator, as a manifestor increases. You experience an unlim your, your unlimited version of yourself, you know, you're, you have to forget of limits as you save to fifth dimension. As you save to fifth dimension, anything is possible, guys. Anything, 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 anything. It's equal to your creative imagination and, uh, you know, to how well you can integrate those new energies and uh, use them to manifest your reality. That anything is possible. So that's another sign. The most weird thing is uh, actually the most weird and at the same time uh, uh, the most challenging is uh, that you just know. But the mind the mind is in the unknown, guys. You are constantly into the unknown, into the void, into the realm of no thought. And of course, this for the ego, for the ego, this is, um, you know, this equals death. And uh, it's uh, super uncomfortable. That's another sign that uh, you experience the shift into the fifth dimension state of consciousness. And of course, this can get, uh, I don't know, we just experienced this reality. And uh, from my personal experience, I mean, it, it gets really magical. Like it's, it's uh, the whole, you're, you're bombarded with synchronicities. Synchronicities, um, civic terms. It is uh, when your dominant thoughts align with your life and become your dominant experience. In other words, when uh, a lot of events are happening synchronistically at the same time, to send you a message that only you can understand. For example, the wind that blows, that guy that opens uh, uh, the lights, uh, the noise on the right, you know, everything, everything can send you a message that uh, kid that speaks when everything aligns to send you a message maybe uh, uh, 
uh, you're thinking of someone and uh, that someone is messaging you. That's a synchronista. It tells you, hey, we are all connected telepathically. No. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> Your thoughts are really... <laughs> Your thoughts, uh, when you pay attention to them, are really powerful. When you are focused to them. When you believe them, in other words. Hey, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. And, of course, uh, those are freaking counters, miracles. You know, it, it can get really crazy with the synchronistas. And uh, as you ascend into the fifth dimension, you experience your whole day is filled with uh, synchronicities. Okay, synchronicities are non stop. Another sign. And uh, uh, I think we already said that, but uh, I will say it in other words. You are 24 7 in a meditative state. Okay, 24 7. Meditative state is your normal state of being. It's your normal state of being, guys. You don't need any practices. Of course, practices can help, but when you fully embody and when you fully get uh, into the fifth uh, dimension state of consciousness, you don't need any practices. So what people call Akashic Records is 24-7 uh, open to you and uh, of course your soul Of course your soul knows better what is the best for you Okay, so for the ending I'm gonna share with you some tips that are gonna help to permanently increase your vibration and make the jump into the fifth dimension. So, the most basic. Sun, nature, cardio, cardiovascular exercise, 60%. Hey, take a break from your life, relax. Get more into the state of being. Be, get more in the being state, in the meditative state in your life. You know, relax. Your whole body is literally getting bombarded with energies. The, the, you are dying in a cellular level and you are being reborn. Your whole system is reconstructing. Okay, take a break. Relax. Relax. This is the best way to get to the fifth dimension. Connect with nature. Enjoy the peace, the beauty. Let get your mind out of the... Uh, out of the way. So those higher energies and this higher intelligence can do its job to bring this body back to homeostasis, okay, back to balance. So this is super important. What works for me is 80% vegan, vegan diet. So high quality food, nutrient dense foods. Super important, I repeat that, it's super important. It's super, super important. <laughs> You can make the shift by eating carbs. Actually, your whole body is gonna neg uh, neglect that, you know. You won't stand to it uh, set. So, uh, that's the next uh, diet, super important. For me, 80% vegan, no gluten, no diary, no, uh, how it's called, uh, sugar. No sugar, no gluten, no gluten. No diary, 80% vegan, eggs, uh, chicken, that, that's what uh, is working for the human body, okay. The most important thing is to, to learn your human body and what works better for you, okay. You need high quality foods, okay. There is a reason that all spiritual people are eating uh, more close to vegan, okay. There is a reason for that, because um, vegetables and fruits, uh, carry more light, carry more light into their cells. So, uh, by eating um, vegetables, vegetables and fruits, you create cells that can carry more light. Okay. Literally, you, you after 35 days, 
you create new cells based on what you eat, so you have to take that in consideration. And yeah, the next thing is sound yourself with uh, evolved beings, with high energy beings, with beings that, uh, with human beings and beings in general that uh, have they, their best interest in heart for you. Okay. Your environment is super important when you are making the shift. So create boundaries, let go of all the old people that cannot follow you into the next level of your journey. Okay. At this moment on the planet, um, as you shift from the old environment, so everything is energy, it's the law of attraction. I like energies, synchronize with I like energies. So as you make the shift, uh, there's gonna be a few people that are gonna follow you by from the old, from the matrix, from the old energetic matrix. Okay, so don't mind, you can save anybody, okay? Uh, make the shift, okay? And follow your intuition, your intuition, no, don't worry about bringing others with you, okay? Of course, uh, if it is, it, it's gonna come through your intuition naturally if you have to bring some people to help some people out, but uh, yeah. Look at this, basic. <laughs> so, don't worry, just move on with your journey, it's uh, super important. And, uh, you know, trust your intuition. Your ego is gonna go crazy, okay? Your ego is gonna go, uh, it's gonna be afraid to die. Just do it. Don't be afraid. Be courageous. Go into the unknown. The unknown is where the magic happens and as you move in the journey you realize that, that uh, your intuition is always right. So <laughs> after you experience the magical, the magical uh, uh, knowing of your intuition you will be able to go into the unknown with no fear eventually. It will begin, uh, each breakthrough you have, that fear is going to subside, subside, subside. Okay. And of course, um, uh, practice self-love, self-care, really important. Cook yourself nice meals, do your baths, Move your body, the basics, guys, the basics. Okay, and this is uh, the video for today. I really feel awesome here. I feel so good here. So good to be alive. So excited. So, see ya. See ya in the next. Ooh. And uh, make sure you share the information, you share the video, you subscribe to the channel, you like the channel. Make sure you share with everybody that is in the shift. Send them this video because this video has the truth and uh, it's gonna help them in their journey. So, this is it for today, guys. Peace out, peace and glory.